Talking to these imaginary body titans and karate chopping you them off your your uh, yeah. your system. How do you feel about that? It looks a bit stupid from the outside. So I've got some questions for you, Dermot, from America. But Dermot, you have your you have your camera in my face, so I'm the title to put my hands on you. Consider it the laying on of hands, sort of a healing, if you will. So under Golden Age of Tech 2, the re-releasing Elron Hubbard's book, Hell, is it? So, you do realise that all his works are fiction, even the so-called applied religious so, philosophy that is Scientology. So, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, you. if you were in a cult, Michael, how would you know? Is he the one that just got back from Michael O'Donnell, Hill? yeah, he's all gathered, gathered he's up. He's all gathered up, he's yeah. redone his bridge, he's repaid for Michael, everything. this is never going to end. Dermot, how's things with you, He man? wants a close-up, give him a close-up. He wants to see your beautiful blue eyes. Would the cult tell you they I've were a cult? I've got a serious question for Crazy you. Stop shaking, because this is serious. You know when you were tested OT3, and no the EP was no more BTs. No more BTs. What was your reaction when you found out on OT4 that that was all a crock of There's bullshit? More BTs. There's more BTs right up yeah. in the... Do you know, he's at five now, he's at five. Real yeah. Hey, let me tell you... Should more I tell BTs. You I'll tell you how I handled it. I got a sec check for false attesting that there were no more BTs. That's how they handled me. And then you know what I this found out? This lady was course supervisor for Isaac Hayes. OT4. And Juliette Lewis. I think she knows what she's talking about. Hey, Dermot. How are so, you? Do you know what OT4 is about, Dom? Oh no, he's from five, right? So if you found out you were in a cult, how would you deal with that? And talking to the body patents and clipping them off like this, that's stupid. Imagine how that looks to an outsider. How fucking stupid is that? Do you not feel like a twat when they told you to read this paper for OT3 about Xenu? Come on, please. You look absolutely ridiculous from the outside world. We give you that information for free. We're going to do it right now. OT8, I now know who I'm not. And I'm ready to find out who I am. Yeah. I mean, that should have been handled on the old bridge. He, he stopped, rec he stopped recording. Could you what repeat you that? Do? Can you say that again? Because he stopped recording at that point. Okay, OT8, end phenomenon. I now know who I'm, uh, who I'm not, and I'm ready to find out who I am. Who I really am. How so, you find out who you really are. Damn it, that should oh, have really? you your first course in Scientology. Find out who you really are, where in actual fact, all you find out is who no. you're not. Absolutely Give me stupid. a break. Hi, <laughs> Listen, you know me for fuck's sake. Hiya. Hi, uh, How you doing? Hey, we'll just take it in turns. So what is a cult? How do you spot one? And more importantly, how do you know if you're in one? Go in there. Scientology just wants your money. Yes! Yes, sit it. It's getting physical. Ouch. Ouch. Call the cops. 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 You're communicating now. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys. Yes, this is the man who says that handicapped children deserve everything that's coming to them. Yeah. This is the guy who wrote the poem. Yes, this, 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 this is Des. This is Des Sinnott, Ireland's lead auditor. Is he the one that wrote the poem? Yes. yes. Raping yes. women. Yes. Make sure they don't write Dr. Reed. Like hey Des. Des, when are you going to come out of the closet? When are you going to come out of the closet? We all know. You can't find it any longer. The auditing will not make you someone you're not. Just go in. See, the thing is, with your OT levels, you should be able to OT me out of the door. 
Yeah. You should be able to OT. Hi, Bernard. Bernard, how are you doing? Could you please define all our welcome? Because we want to know why we're not welcome. Yes. Ahmed, how's it going? It's okay. We're going to it. Why are we not welcome? Are you trying to do Michael, what does all our welcome mean? All are welcome. Means what? So what is a cult? How do you spot one? And more importantly, how do you know if you're in one? Some people, like the Church of Scientology, object to the use of the term at all. Well, I've been studying the subject for the last six years. I've read a number of books and articles on the subject, trying to make sense of it. And here's my analysis of seven points that define a cult. Isolation from others. Most cult groups have a way of gradually isolating their members from non-members. to go via the Data Protection Act. Dermot, Michael wants to speak to you. On my behalf, or on the behalf of any Dermot, Michael wants to speak to you. Yes, yeah. yeah, stop OTing the doorway up, will you? Yes. So, I have a question. How do you reconcile paying all that money to have all those teas How do you reconcile paying all that money when it's a bullshit? Do you know? Deborah, you've been in Scientology for over 20 years. You must know personally about 5,000 people who have left Scientology. You have to. You have to, being a 20 year old Scientologist. So, do you find yourself associating socially or professionally only with members of your group? If so, chances are you're in a cult. Are you practicing? You're up and up. Go for it. Fucking go for it. Go for it. It's hilarious. So let's talk about David Miscavige for a while. Do you know that he actually beats people? Do you know that he physically attacks people, Michael? Does that bother you that your cult leader, sorry, church leader, physically attacks people? I told you before, Michael, what you hear at these events is lies. I can prove everything they tell you is a lie. Does that not bother you? Doesn't it bother you? Hey, the Sea Org's in town. In the Navy. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I blame the neighbours. Yeah, they have bad neighbours, Scientologists. You can tell him when he's paid all his money, when he's mortgaged his house, when he's got nothing left, you won't be interested in anymore unless he's going to stand here and be a free bodyguard. What should you get paid this week, Armin? Sam? We didn't get paid anything. Contribute to the motion. What? You know, follow by. Yeah, mimicry. Yeah. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, 
nice to see you, to see you nice. We gave you the OTM phenomenon yesterday and you, you're still alive. So, find out who you really are, Scientology. So how come... Well, you, you can't approach them on the street without. Do you know them, what what they, what they do? What they do? What they do is they put their hands on you and then they stand there and they're like, and then they say, "Come on, come on, hit me, hit me." They try and get. Looking very smug, damn it. Do you think someone's broken a law here or something? One day you'll be out of Scientology. And what they'll do? Because the end product of Scientology is an ex-member. What happened to the Maiden Voyage events last year, by the way? Why did he cancel them? Why weren't there any? Big guy, Dennis. Could you point out that everything that they're going to be telling the guard now is lies? So how do you reconcile the Merchants of Chaos uh, policy letters where the police and the ju judiciary are attacked? How do you reconcile that by calling them when we actually just stand here and do nothing and exercise our right to protest? I don't want to talk to you. Go away. That's fine. You can eat your apple but you can't tell me to go away because it's a public street. Do you know that Scientology is actually a crime syndicate, that it's fraudulent? It was convicted of fraud in Belgium, it was convicted of fraud in France, and what you're perpetrating on people is fraudulent. You are committing crimes. By, being, by that door being open, trying to get people in with a free personality test is fraudulent. You know it, Dermot, and I know it. You nearly left in 2005. Come on, talk about that. What was going through your head when you nearly left? Don't forget to adjust that spine. So what was going through your head when you nearly left? You must have had questions. Was it Miscavige? Was it Gat 2? Gat 1? How much effort do you think they go to to prevent you from realising that you're in a cult? You know that crimes are committed. You know that people in this mission persuade people to go to the bank for a loan, to say it's for a car or something else, and they're really going to give all the money to Scientology. You know that happens. How do you reconcile that? It's fraudulent and criminal. How do you reconcile that? So you want these people that would stand by and see injustice go on in the world? Is that what it really comes down to? Yeah. A Scientologist stands by and sees injustice in the world because they are doing it, so therefore it's okay. The greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics bullshit. Is that what it is, Dermot? So going to the bank and lying about a loan for your bridge is okay because it's for your bridge. Is that what it is? Well, where does that money go? And do people actually really do their bridge? Answer that. What are you on the bridge, Michael? Do you want to start smoking? I can help you. Obviously not. So, is it OT5 or have you got to OT6? 
Do you not feel that you're like a bit like a mouse on a treadmill? The hamster in the wheel, throwing money at them to try and solve problems. Hey, I've got a great question for you, if you don't mind. Don't sorry, for, sorry for touching you. I beg your pardon. I take it back. What was your ruin when you got into Scientology? What were you trying to solve? And have you solved it? Dermy, come on, answer me. Have you solved your ruin? Have you solved it? What about you, Michael? What was your ruin when you got into Scientology? And have you fixed the problem yet? Or are you still hoping? So what was your ruin? Did you have a ruin? Or were you one of these people that doesn't have a ruin? Were you just born perfect? So can I come and speak to you guys one day? If I book a room and organize it, would you come along? Because I'd love to talk to you all. Please, please listen to me. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save you wasting your time and save you money. Because what you're doing is not what you think it is. You've got some opinions about the whole Alistair Crowley connection, don't you? What would you think if I told you that L. Ron Hubbard once described himself as a mind fucker and that was in 1952? He knew what he was doing. He's fucked with your mind and yours. So you can smile and pretend it means nothing, but what I'm saying is actually true. And one of these days, you know when, you, when you're in session, you're looking back, the truth of what I say will actually have to impinge upon you because it is true. All these sessions that you do are a complete and utter waste of time. Dermot knows it, he's got to OT5 and look at him. You didn't even handle what you got into Scientology to handle yet, did you? I can tell you didn't. See, I can actually read your mind. I know what you're thinking. <sighs> so just to get a panoramic shot of the scene here, you've got Dermot standing there, Michael, 